This is a Smith & Wesson 500 Magnum. It's got a Leopold 2.5 by 8 power scope. And it's the largest production handgun in the world. Cutting edge, 320 grain, soft pedal. So these are bent to break off and then it's a solid underneath. How do you feel about your shot? Shoulder. Shoulder. Might have been a little high because I'm so close. But... I don't see her. Is that, a, is that her? Yeah, that's her. On the shoulder. Look around for other lines, eh? And she's doing that, yeah. they might jump. Oh, sir. Yeah. Uh, she's gone. Okay. Very good. How uh, did you fall out next to her? She's gone. Well done, my thing. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> well, this has been experience of a lifetime. I really, uh, I really appreciate it. It's everything you said it was going to be in 20 times more. I would uh, recommend this to anyone. This has been incredible. Thank you. Thank you and congratulations. Thank Dave. you very much. Very, very proud of this. She's awesome. This is very dangerous. Feel it, feel out.
she's done. <laughs> Congratulations. Damn, tree. Man. That's crazy. Well done, my friend. Oh. <laughs> I didn't make it easy. <laughs> Put the scope in there. Yeah. Whoever saw a lion <laughs> climb a tree? <laughs> you're, you're put you on I've that seen map. it on that. Yes, no chill. Have you? Down hunting with Derek from huntingafrica.com. Derek, this is uh, your second lion is for the day. <laughs> insane, isn't it? It's insane. Oh. Taking with your revolver or your pistol, what you call it. 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. So, it's really? pretty cool. With a Leopold 2.5 by 8 uh, it's uh, pretty deadly. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a cannon. <laughs> it's cannon. It's a Fits cannon. Fits fire. Yeah, and uh, you're really shooting that gun well. Um, congratulations. It's not easy to get two lionesses in one day. Yeah, and the fact that you got her to go up in a tree, that was, uh, uh, you know, I didn't, I hope that doesn't cost extra. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is uh, a cat, normal reaction, really? you know, is climbing trees. How, got, how old is she? Well, I think this one is also around about five to six years old. Wow. Um, beautiful, mature female lion. And this is really She's beautiful. Really, really a nice uh, female. Huge head. Congratulations, my friend. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Made dreams come true. Uh, you're welcome. It's a new day. We're after some uh, Cape Buffalo, possibly a Sable. We've been after three Buffalo and bumped the same ones twice now. And another herd we bumped as well. So we're going after this uh, other group of Buffalo. No, it's been a lot of fun. It's, uh, the, the bulls that we've seen are just huge and in prime shape. I just cannot believe the, the shape they're in there and how big they are. And the horns are big too, but the bodies are just just huge. So hopefully Jared can seal the deal today and so it can be my turn. <laughs> I lost the rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> It looked very good. Saw these couple of bulls a couple of times and they keep dodging us. Running, running, yes. walking, giving us a shot, not right distance. And finally we found this one hiding here in the bush. You had to take a shot from your knees. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that flight of the arrow and it looked if it hit perfectly. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. My brother. <laughs> That's what we want to hear. Yeah. Look at this buffalo, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Thank you, sir. Well, I'm hunting with Jared from uh, huntingafrica.com. We've been out uh, early this morning looking for buffalo. Uh, I had my doubts about the crossbow he's using, but I don't have any doubts now anymore. <laughs> um, fantastic weapon, fantastic shot, Jared. Yeah. You made, you had an opportunity like that, and we took that one. And There's here's a the proof. Yes. And you really, really, really made a great shot. It's unreal. It, uh, like you said, we got a couple opportunities to to go for it, and having this opportunity, I, you know, I went to go push the trigger, and it was on safe, and. 
you know, if, I don't think it would give us much more of an opportunity and, and being able to take that shot, having a perfect shot and hearing that bellow within what, 10 minutes was just unreal. My friend, congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you, you for did all your very work. Very well. Thank you. So we were driving up and down looking for fresh tracks after last night. We had a little bit of rain yeah. looking for Derek's buffalo. Found a lot of tracks with some rain inside, so it's old tracks, at least 10 hours old. And we were still walking, 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 and then we start crossing some line tracks. Yeah. And some more line tracks and more line tracks. And then we went on and went on, and we decided that we're going to look for better tracks for the buffalo. And then we found really fresh tracks of the lion. We saw him going, or her going that way. And then we found a track suddenly coming back. And we knew that must be the one already coming back. We jumped off and got on that uh, track. And it wasn't far. We met up with her the first time. And after that, she just walking and trotting in front of us, in front of us. I could see she was getting tired. I see, I still told you her mouth is starting to open right. up. And uh, yeah, we got her into range. I think it was 43 or 40, 40, 40. The first, we had her yeah. 74. And yeah, we had her 74 the first time, but we didn't take that shot. And then right at 40, make a brilliant shot. Right on the shoulder. Yeah. Oh yes. Okay, blue. How did it feel? It felt good. It was <laughs> a bit of a rush. <laughs> First line ever with this raven. Yeah. Oh, well, this thing keeps on amazing. Me. Might it's not really... be able to come home with me. You might be taking it. Home yeah. Yourself, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really, this is a. A perfectly lion killer and we saw a buffalo killer. Yes. So that's really impressive. Okay, now you can take That's a shot. Take a shot. Nice. Get another one in on the shoulder quickly. Congratulations, my friend. Thank you, sir. <laughs> we had to pull it a little bit because when they sometimes they hold on when you pull them like that. 
That's a, another indication that she's still alive. Mm -hmm. The eyes is going big, but if you pull her by the tail, you will see the foot feet is doing that, holding on. Today I'm hunting with Jared from uh, huntingafrica.com. This morning we were going out for buffalo for Derek, and we crossed over this female's tracks a couple of times. And we were just still going and looking for some fresh tracks on the buffalo and we crossed the tracks again and it was really fresh and then we were on her and we were going. And uh, found her about the first time at about 74 or 75 yards. 74, yeah. And we went in closer and she was still hanging around and I think he took the shot on 40 yards. I did. And well placed shot, a little bit high, but she didn't go anywhere. No. How did it feel for you? It yeah. was a bit of a rush. Um, this this raven's an incredible, incredible accurate bow. I I shot exactly where I thought, and I was um, not the exact spot I would like. I uh, should have gotten a little bit lower, but this thing is just incredibly accurate. Um, but the, the rush getting that close to a lion hearing a roar is just <laughs> is pretty crazy. Quite intimidating. Derek, it's day two on the buffalo. Yeah. He gave us a slip yesterday. We were so close at times that it was, we could hear him breathing. I think I had my gun caught four or five times. Yeah, so close, <laughs> so close. So this is day two. We estimate it's going to be in this area now. We saw some tracks going in here. It's really ticking here. Yeah? So, um, good Should be luck. exciting. Good luck. Thank you. Should be a great day. Morning. There it is. Which way is he facing? He's facing you. Come here, dude. Come, set up there, set up here. When he steps into that opening, take him. Take him. You have to put him down, Eric. Reload. He's going down.
And my wife is going to love you to death because it's got torn up ears. That's all she cared about is torn up ears. Congratulations, my friend. I think you've shot the magnificent buffalo. It's freaking incredible. Sorry, Chris. Derek, you started on this buffalo yesterday and you almost got him and he just disappeared on us. Yeah. And this morning we started on him again and then we found the lion tracks. Yep. And then fresher lion tracks and then we went on lion hunting and Jared got his lion and we went for brunch and came back a little later. Picked up those guys' tracks again and I think we walked about for, I would say, half an hour to uh, three quarters of an hour. And Peter, our other PH, spotted this bull. Eagle eyes. With eagle eyes. He just was at the best spot that I've seen in a long time. And to top this off, you get a perfect frontal shot on it and you just put it in there. You found him again, put another shot on him. He's down while looking at him and investigating him. We found a, a lion nail buried in his backside and he's all ripped to pieces there by the lion last night or early this morning. Now, what is the chances of that happening? I'm sure well, glad the same Jared, Jared got his lion and before he got back to chewing to the, on my buffalo. Yeah. <laughs> so how was this hunt for you, my friend? Oh, a dream. Uh, it's just incredible what uh, what uh, you and your team has, has done. It's uh, a dream of a lifetime. This is my third bull with, uh, with a handgun and by far the most exciting and uh, adrenaline rush for the first time in years, just with them massive bosses and the width and uh, him coming at us, uh, just <laughs> come right at us. It's just, uh, you know, the start of a charge and I quickly ended that, thankfully. Yeah, you put that second turn, shot turn. in him. They don't grow much bigger than this. What, how old is he? No, he's at least nine to 10 years old. His ears are ripped apart. Oh, and my uh, wife is going to love that. She might let me even bring it in the house because of the ripped <laughs> ears character. <laughs> well, from me and the boss team, we oh. really uh, want to congratulate you. Uh, I and appreciate Jared you. And everything. Congratulations on a magnificent buffalo bull. Thank you very much. Daddy, congratulations. Dream, dreams. Dreams do come true. This is our fourth morning. I'm hunting with Jared from huntingafrica.com. We're going for a male lion this morning. Yes. We spotted him Thursday and never spotted him again. <laughs> we picked up some nice tracks. Um, we're going to look for him. First time we saw him, he was really aggressive. Yeah, very upset. He was upset. And after that, we didn't see him again. So, um, Good luck. Thank you. I hope you're going to enjoy this one. I think so. He's looking right at us. He's looking right at us and his tail is going mad. That's a clear sign. Clear sign. That he's 
干没关系。You can only take a shot when his head is up like that. If he goes down and he drops his head, don't take that shot. Okay, comma. What's the yardage? Yardage? 60 feet. I've got that tree in the way. Yeah, you've got that stump in the way. This is a very, very bad situation. Comma, take it on, take it on. Take it on. Hey! 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 Now's the time. Take your shot. Now's the time. Put him. Put him. Where are you Wait for a shot, eh? You don't have a shot. Okay. And I can you sink you to Okay, now just if, if he if he looks to the left again, just go in his chest if he looks to the left again. There he's standing. He's still standing. He dropped. Ja, maar kom eens gaan bijkomen. Ja. En dan zien jullie hier kort boompje op je rechterkant. Als je daar afstand breekt, dan schiet je hè? If he looks to the right, his chest will open up a bit and you can put it right in the chest. No, let him let him look a little bit more. That's too much. That's not enough. You tell me when the fire. Okay. I think he's busy dying. Now. Go back to that green tree there. He's gonna chew up that arrow there. Eh? Oh. Very good. Yeah, now he's going a lot. Oh, he's up, he's up now. He's back on his feet, yeah. Something like this. Yeah. That'll be loose in the body. Okay, there's two stripes of white. Which one do you want, the front or back? Right by the block. You can go one inch to the right. Watch your distance. Watch your distance. Okay, where where am I going? In the middle? Lower? An inch lower than the middle. I'm out of arrows. I, there's no way I could have cocked fast enough. Yeah. Not with that adrenaline pumping. Yeah. 12 yards. We had no choice. I can't believe how many shots were fired and he still didn't go down. Yeah. Is he great, Peter? I can't see him from here, Yeah, he's great. 
What a rush. <laughs> what a rush. <laughs> we don't want to shoot your line. No, I know. You know, so I'm just telling you, crank that thing and get another arrow in. I was doing everything backwards, but yeah, I was, I was doing as fast as I could. Mind over matter. Yeah, you're not thinking. You're, you're not, not thinking. thinking. It is. Man, you did good. Well, thank you. You did really good. Thank uh, you. Thank you. you for the guide into this. This is incredible. Oh, well, Jared. You've been driving up and down, walking some tracks for hours. Couldn't find this line. And at one stage we found a track and decided, okay, we're going to try another track. All right. And we were walking and walking and walking. And this time we didn't walk that far. No, and we didn't. you can just hear that's this roar coming out of the bush. Hey! And I spotted him about, I don't think, about 100 yards. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe 120 yards away. tail flopping. And just saw, saw that tail going like crazy and he was talking. He was growling and he was upset. He didn't not like happy us there. there. No. So we went in and went closer and closer and closer and I'm not sure what was the the distance you took it on? Uh, 60. Say. Sixty-three yards was the first, and then we we got a forty. 40 yeah, yards, 60, so. 63 it was the first one and then we got closer and closer and I think then the second one was on 40. He wasn't giving us much closer though either. No, and he was mock charging us the first time, even before we take a shot at him, yeah. he, he just came for us. And then you put two arrows in him and he was struggling and his head was down and we thought, now okay, it's all over. And we come walking around him. And he starts growling at us again. Go in his chest if he looks to the left again. Stand up again and you just yeah. passed him again from a different angle. And you put another arrow in him right on the spot. And he decided no, he had enough and he, he charged us. us yeah. <laughs> and he just came. <laughs> that was a bit unnerving. I hadn't I had I had nothing to, uh, no more arrows, and so I didn't have anything under any other options. So we, we were able to put her down, put him down with a gun. At that stage, that this line was not going to stop anymore. No, he was not. Um, we had to put him down. Uh, I think we measured it was 12 yards away from us. That's close enough. That is, that's, yeah, yeah. about as close as I want to get. Yeah. Well, congratulations and thanks for hunting with us here at Boss Safaris. Yes, well, thank you for having us. You're really great guys and congratulations again. My thank friend. you, thank you.
Well, Derek, uh, we decided to go on the second mow for the day. And uh, we picked up his trucks close to a water hole, ran into the bush while just walking. And we've been on him for, I would say, about 30, 40 minutes. And we bumped in the first time. I've seen that um, line. I don't know if you guys uh, saw him. I did. He's a runner. He just jumped up and ran. So what that does for me, it makes me more comfortable now because I can see on his attitude that he's a runner. He's not going to fight. Yeah. And he just took off and I still told you, I think he's going to be a runner. Yeah. And then he, he did run a bit. Found a couple of places where he bedded down and he was just facing his tracks. And he was seeing us coming. Really? And then he just took off again. Just small little runs. Didn't run away completely. And then you were still saying, well, maybe another half an hour. And I told you, yep. no, well, uh, it's going to take longer than that. It wasn't half an hour. <laughs> no. <laughs> and we just hear this huge roar. I see. I don't think it was about 25, yeah. 30 yards away from us. We just heard this roar and couldn't see him. Slowly, guys, slowly, slow movement. Well, we went around that bush and we got a, a clear shot on him. Yeah. And you could see it. You could see him. Yeah, and he was really mad. Oh, he was angry. It was worse not being able to see him to me. I, a roar, a, a roar. Okay, I got up. I've got to shoot something coming at us, and there's just a bush. Where do I shoot? That was awesome. Kept turning them around in circles, so I just kept shooting. It's just incredible. I was like, <laughs> Well, my friends, congratulations. Beautiful line. Oh, just incredible. Really, really, really beautiful line. Dream of a lifetime. I estimate him at around about seven, seven and a half to eight years old. Wow. Beautiful male. Just incredible, dark mane. Congratulations. Well, thank you. You, you did kept really one well. of my bucket list. Yes, that pistol is incredible. <laughs> incredible. <laughs> Cannon. <Really. Yeah. laughs> thank well you. Done and congratulations. Appreciate you.
Look how, look how gelled that is. We just put the hammer down on a nice sable. It uh, spotted him. It's uh, probably 95 degrees out. He was sitting in the shade of a tree. Uh, we got a first stock on him. He spotted us, busted us. Um, fortunately, with this pistol, we can't, we gotta get a lot closer than the rifle. And so, uh, uh, Jock has got us in close and uh, put a good shot on it. We've got a uh, hard hit in the liver is what they're saying. And so we're gonna play a little waiting game and then uh, go get him. Ah, uh, Derek, we've been hunting sable for about two or three days. Saw some nice ones, saw some better ones, and they all keep on running away, running away, running away. And uh, after brunch, we decided to go to a totally different area. And we were lucky enough to walk into this beautiful bull. It was and awesome. We take a great shot on it. Yeah, one shot kill. I uh, it's, it's very hard to do with a pistol, but pulled it off. Yeah, Got lucky. <laughs> Beautiful bull. Very thick mass. Yeah. Beautiful bull. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, it's just a dream of a lifetime. These are the most beautiful animal almost in the world, in my opinion. Yeah. We call him the Prince of the Bush, though. Prince of the Bush. Yeah. How old is this young man? Well, I would say mm, seven to eight years old. Hunting a uh, buck and uh, some guys they found a monster sable. So we're not going to mess around. Take the big guns and we're going to go hunt this this boy out. Thank you. Well, uh, this morning me and Jared went out looking for games buck. And we were driving down the road and we found some tracks, fresh tracks of games buck. And we followed that tracks for maybe an hour and then we got an urgent call from the other team telling us they spotted a really nice sable bull. Yes. And we, we packed up and 
just went to the area they spotted that uh, the sable in and uh, we decided not to be a lot of people going on this track and unfortunately i was not with but you were there yeah can you tell us what happened well we uh we started walking from the truck and we probably walked a good mile or so and and got uh, to where we actually saw him and he saw us before we saw him didn't give us much of a shot so we tried to get set up a little better and he was gone so we got over there to see if we can find his tracks and we're looking and looking and the next minute we look up and he's actually staring right down at us he's another about 250 yards away so we we got a good uh got a little closer to him got a little better shot on him and uh yeah and then the story was over after that but it just incredible ball and this is the biggest bull I've had, and I'm very excited. Oh, it's a beautiful bull. This is a Zambian sable bull. Is that? Yeah. What's the uh, What's the difference between them? Well, this, the Zambian bulls got more black in the face, and they've got a little bit more of a reddish color. And the Matsetsi bulls got more white in their face. Oh, really? And much more darker. And uh, but this is a beautiful Zambian bull, and uh, we were gazing the length there. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we were all about half an inch out. Yes, we were. But at the end of the day, it measures up to 44 and a half. 44 and a half. So how old is this bull? I estimate this bull at around about eight years old. Is this kind of past its prime then? Oh, yes, absolutely. Past, wow. Way past its prime. Congratulations, well, my thank friend, you. on a very nice sale thank bull. You. Thanks for hunting with Boss Safaris. We'll be back really again. Really enjoy it with you guys. Thanks for having faith in me, bro. Of course, man. <laughs> Beautiful. That was a long, long day. Well, I guess a long five days. 
My name is Peter Ferrara from Boss Safaris and today I was hunting with Derek from huntingafrica.com and um, well we saw this sable a couple of days ago we, we worked hard and we really tried to get a shot on him but uh, well he eluded us a couple of times so this morning we were actually looking for wildebeest and uh, we drove past this guy didn't give us a shot and uh, we started tracking him. Well, it started tracking about nine o'clock. Yep. And uh, well, it took us basically the whole day. Yeah, the sun's just barely down. Yeah, and he finally gave us an opportunity. So, tell us a bit. How how was the, how was the hunt? Oh, it was incredible. He's unique, and the, the, there's a lot of incredible sables here. And uh, but he's unique with his flare. And so when we saw him this afternoon, or excuse me, this morning, we like that's him. And so I was game on and at brunch we had another discussion about how he had eluded us and we thought we figured it out. We'd come back and retract and saw where we'd, we'd yeah. missed it. We'd miss him and got on another sable and, and uh, tell you what, when we saw him run away from us the first time we bumped him about an hour ago, we were super excited because we knew we were back on him and uh, then it was a matter of whether we could uh, get on him and, and get a shot before dark Yeah. and here we are. It's just, it's Here we are. <laughs> this magnificent, magnificent cyber. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Well, Derek, well done and congratulations. Thank you, thank you so much. Except for exceptional bull. <laughs> exceptional, <laughs> it was. <laughs> I don't know what it is about sables, but they get me going. More than the lions, that's what crazy. Gosh, look at the horns. He's a monster. Wow. Look at this guy. Nice, thick faces. Flared at the top. Beautiful bull. Yeah, today I'm hunting with Jared from huntingafrica.com. And uh, well, we went by this sable. He's already got a few. Yeah. So uh, he just couldn't, couldn't resist the Hable and the sable. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it's an it's a absolutely beautiful sable. So, how old Jared. is this one? This bull is at least 10 years old. Wow. Uh, we estimated it's about maybe 350 to 400 pounds. Pounds, wow. Yeah. It's a really, really good looking sable. I mean, look at those horns. That's it's massive. Amazing. Yeah. We think that's nice and wide. 43 plus horns, inch wow. horns. Yeah, it's a beautiful sable. So, what do you think? It was a great hunt. I, yeah, when we saw him, I said, we, we've got to go after him. I didn't want to let him go. And, uh, 
But yeah, it was a great hunt and perfect shot. What did he, what did he go like? Yeah, 10 like, yards, 15 yards? Yeah, at the most, 20 yards. He yeah. didn't even go for You made the perfect shot. Yeah, well, thank you. I had the perfect pH. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations on the All beautiful, right. beautiful sable. Well, thank you. Sable. Thank you. Good job. Well, Jared, an incredible end of a safari that was a dream that we had and we just made it happen. Yeah, uh, unreal from, uh, well, we started off with the lions. Yes. And, wow, what a, what a bit of a challenge. Um, what, what kind of gun were you using? I have a Smith & Wesson uh, 500 Magnum pistol uh, revolver, it's five shot and I was using 300 grain solids on the buffalo and uh, 280 grain on the, on the uh, dangerous game. And then on the- And that first shot was a deadly shot. Yeah. Well, and then your crossbow, my heck, what a dream, <laughs> huh? Yeah, my very first time using it was on the buffalo and so your what? first animal ever. First animal ever. One shot. One shot buffalo. That thing went 70, 80 yards. Yeah, we could decide whether it was 70. 10 minutes later, we heard the death bells. Unreal. Not Un even 10 minutes. Unbelievable with this Raven R29. R wow. Yeah, and that was, uh, yeah. And then and then your, your female lion, and then your, your lioness, lion. and yeah. your lion. Lion gave us a little, a little bit of a charge, and yeah, yeah, you'll you'll see some upcoming takes of that is just incredible on YouTube. Uh, we, uh, yeah, we had some some experiences that uh, we were hoping for, and then some we didn't even dream of happening. <laughs> we got it all in one package, and and it really seven days. I mean, the last three days we really haven't hunted hard. No, <laughs> trying to recover. <laughs> From all the excitement, yeah. And then now we have, end up with out here in the Kalahari. We end up with a new nickname because uh, we found some incredible sables that we didn't know about, and uh, now they're calling us what? Havel sables. Oh, we had some incredible sables. Just yeah. some magnificent. They've got to be the prettiest animal on the earth, or close. Maybe the Niala. That lion when it was roaring at me <laughs> was pretty pretty. Tell us incredible. about that one. I'd like to hear that. Well, I don't know, just really quick, we were, uh, this lion, a uh, big, huge male lion with a dark mane, and um, he he was running from us instead of challenging us, and uh, so we thought we were in for a, we were probably going to put him to bed in the dark and then take up his track in the morning. Uh, and uh, so we're trudging along a couple miles, and our, you know, we're tired because it's sand, there in the desert and, and walking, uh, for an walking and walking hours. and walking and and uh we got he set us up uh our ph saying hey this is going to take a long time and 20 minutes later this out of this monster bush. bush this roar of a lifetime come out and i've never seen so many people react i mean we were all in a zone and with no indication that he turned on us and uh, we thought we had a full out charge and you couldn't see him and that was the that was the scary problem is not being able to see a, a yeah. lion that's just roaring at you and we had to move sideways and there was a perfect shooting lane and a halo a bush just a perfect sight picture and uh, we were able to 
put him down um, super quick and with a couple of shots and as he was charging the last shot just just dropped him and uh, wow it was a uh, uh, hunting with a pistol is incredibly difficult incredibly difficult um, and especially when you're in an adrenaline situation that was a uh, um, it was a, it was a hunt of a lifetime. Yeah, they both were. After my lion, I didn't think there's no way we could top off with your lion, but. That, and then what? Oh. Two 44 inch sables? You're just yeah. a bum. And then what? <laughs> 42 inch buffalo? Yeah. Plus? Yeah. I mean, guys, this was just incredible. And one of the best safaris. I've been on nine, I believe now, nine or 10. And this is yeah. by far the best safari. I've we've been. already booked coming back, and uh, we've got room for six hunters to come with us. So, if you want to join the Hable boys, huntingafrica.com is where dreams come true and bucket lists get filled. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank cousin. you. It's an incredible, cousin. incredible dream. <laughs> and thank you for helping me make it true. Yes, yeah, thank you.